Hey guys, welcome back to Pastry Playhouse TV. It's your boy, ATL's Cake King, Trent Moya. And this week I made something really special for the holiday season. I made a present, but the present is two different things. It's a drill, but it's not only just a drill, it's a cake. Let me show you guys how I did it. So this week for the dads out there, I decided to cake up a drill. I started with an actual drill to use it as a stencil. Afterwards, I took my cutout and used it to cut the shape needed out of the cake. When the shape is all cut out, I went ahead and filled the cake with some ganache. After that, I carved down the edges to help give the cake some dimension. Okay, so now it's time for me to go ahead and cover the whole thing in some chocolate. Once I was done pouring some chocolate over the cake, I went ahead and smoothed the entire cake out. So funny story, I actually chose this drill cake because I saw my, one of my favorite cake artists, Natalie Sidesurf, make a similar cake, so I had to add my own little twist to it. Okay, so here I went ahead and added some more chocolate to the cake to help give it a 3D look. So I went ahead and added some more chocolate to the top and the bottom. I did that because in a real drill, like it's not completely fat. They're actually pretty round on both ends, so that's why. Now it's time for me to go ahead and add the wrapping paper, which is just red modeling chocolate. Once the chocolate is rolled out, I went ahead and covered the entire cake with it, and I used my hands to cover all the crevices and cracks in the cake. So it's time for me to go ahead and add some details to the cake. It's my favorite part because this part I can actually kind of go crazy with it and add all sorts of different lines and creases, and there's no real rules, um, so if you don't really like something, it's pretty easy for you to go ahead and fix your mistakes. So I actually added some lines to the cake and it helped give it the look that it was different pieces of wrapping paper. Okay, so with the tape, I actually used a thin piece of cool gelatin and I cut it into shape. When I had it into shape, I actually used a real tape dispenser and I ripped off the edges and that made it look like real tape and I'm so happy on how it came out. So when I had all the pieces cut out, I went ahead and added it to the cake, and it came out super amazing. But the only thing was, honestly, it was a pain trying to get the tape to stick to the cake, but a little bit of water definitely helped out. So to add more of a Christmas look, because it was looking a little plain, I went ahead and took an edible marker and I drew some Christmas trees all over the cake, and I'm pretty happy that it actually made it look like real wrapping paper. So what's a gift without a bow? Crazy thing is I actually lost the footage of me making the bow, but I could tell you guys what it was. It was basically just edible sugar sheets um, and I just went ahead and just cut them real thin and I just fold them over a bunch of time. And that's how I made a drill present cake. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any new videos. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and share the video. Until next time guys, stay creative.